What is up, YouTube? Clickwood here, back again with another head-to-head -head seasons gameplay here on Madden 15 Ultimate Team. Guys, I'm still sitting in the rookie division, but I am at 2-0. This is my third game of the season. As you guys are going to see, my opponent's lineup here, pretty solid overall. A lot of guys at 84, 85, 86 overall, but he didn't really have anybody above that. So... Overall, his team was solid. He didn't have as many holes as I did, but also I don't think he had quite the the higher end guys that I had a couple of. You know, I have an elite or two on my team at this point. But, you know, for his team, like I said, he was kind of a more well-balanced team. And unfortunately, I wish that I could say that this game had something to do with our overalls for our team, you know, like our players, but really more it came down to decision-making. And that's kind of what Madden 15 Ultimate Team seems to be for me. There isn't so much in terms of stick skills as there has been in the past, it seems like to me anyway. But there's definitely decision making that needs to be done. And the first decision that you're going to see me make here comes here on fourth down. It's fourth and about two or three here. Yeah, fourth and two. And I'm actually going to decide to go for it. We go over the middle here. Great catch by Jared Cook, and we do pick up the first down. So that was a clutch decision there to pick up the first down. We go back to Jordan Cameron here. Another nice completion as he spins past a guy, picking up big yardage here in the passing game. And we're going to continue to pass the ball here. We're going to try and hit him again. Bad decision making. You see what I said about decision making here in Madden 15 Ultimate Team? Because that was just a horrible decision. I predetermined who I was going to throw the ball to, and it came back and bit me in the ass. As you can see here, my opponent throws a pass. My team drops it. That's interception drop number one, by the way. And you guys are going to see here that he continues to throw it into coverage. Interception drop number two. But it doesn't really make that much of a difference. He ends up punting, and we are going to pick up a nice first down here, passing it out with that wide receiver screen to Marquise Goodwin. He picks up a nice gain there. Second and 10 now, and we've got Joe McKnight off the edge, and we pick up about six or seven here to pick up a manageable third and three here. Up the middle again with Joe McKnight, and he's going to complete the first down, getting to about the 20-yard line here on this drive. And as I continue to move the ball here, I'm almost going to force another pass there into coverage. But Demarius Thomas does come up with it. A great catch that saved me and bailed me out on what should have probably been an interception as we run down to the five-yard line here. Third and goal. And I was expecting here that I was going to be able to step in here again with Marquise Goodwin, or excuse me, Demarius Thomas. But it did not happen. Set up a fourth and goal, and I decided to just take my points. I didn't want to force anything. I just wanted to, you know, get some points on the board, get my lead, and hopefully, eventually, he was going to make a mistake and pay for it, as you see interception drop number three. Second and 10, and we hit him in the backfield, which sets up a third and long. Now, I know he has to pass here. I know he's going to be passing. So I decide that I'm going to try and cover the middle of the field here, not let him tight end spam me, and we do end up getting the sack. Tom Baha Lee comes up with it, and we are able to get the ball back after that punt. Joe McKnight picks up a nice run there to make it third and manageable yet again. That's what I always try to do. If I'm going to be running, it has to be setting up manageable third downs, and that's what we do there. A nice pass in there again for another first down. No Sean Moreno this time. Breaks a tackle, and we are going to get eight on that run. But again, guys, bad decision making. Bad decision making. I can't stress this enough. I have to stop throwing passes like that. That guy was covered. It was a bad throw anyway, but it just didn't work out for me. And my opponent now is going to pass one off here to Arian Foster, his running back out of the backfield. Picks up a big, big first down for him. His biggest play of the game thus far. And I was a little bit frustrated until we get this interception. Rashad Johnson comes up with the pick. And guys, he has 95 speed. He is not going to be caught as he runs all the way for a touchdown to make it 10 to nothing. So eventually I did end up getting an interception. As you see, interception drop number four four there but I can't complain I did get the one pick we are going to get another sack here as well which set up another fourth and long and my opponent is going to go for it this time bad decision making again I decided to run man coverage my opponent was throwing it so poorly into zone coverage no idea why I decided to run man but I paid for it for certain and he's going to complete another pass here into coverage 
Look at that. That is just ridiculous. He threads the needle. And watch this. This one is probably the most frustrating. Interception drop number five for the game after the missed sack. And that is just ridiculous. And he's finally going to get taken down here for a big loss. So it brings up third and 23. Bombs it down the field here into coverage again. We missed the interception. I'm not going to call that an interception miss because, guys, he actually did not get a hand on it for the first time in the freaking game. My opponent decided, though, that he was going to take his three points there on fourth and six and go for an onside kick. Bad decision making? Nope. Not even close. He's able to get the onside kick, and he is bailed out. Just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. He fumbles here after getting sacked, but his offensive lineman picks it up. Again, absolutely ridiculous. Fires it in here for interception drop number six of the game by my defense. Insane. Finally, on fourth and 24, we do get another interception, and that pretty much wrapped up the game. Like I said, guys, this came down to bad decision-making on both of our parts. Thankfully, I was able to capitalize a little bit more on the interceptions that I made, but I cannot continue to play like this and expect to walk out with wins. This wasn't my best performance. But anyway, I am happy with the win. Uh, can't complain too much because we do, did get the two interceptions, but I cannot continue to play like that if I want to get any wins in this season, man. It's been bad interceptions that have been costing me my team hasn't even fumbled it's been all decision making so i gotta get better at this game but i thank you guys so much for watching it really does mean a lot to me i hope you enjoyed today's video we walked out with a win so yay but i suck still so you know boo but thank you guys again do appreciate it and i will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon